Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to G Casina. Today, I'm going to unbox my always pen from ourplace.com. I am so excited about this. I always see this in the social media and Instagram, and I always wanted to have one, but it's kind of expensive. It's back to 145 now, but during Black Friday week, I got a $50 off with this. So I just want to get it and save 50 bucks. And I hope this is worth it. And I, I hear a lot of good reviews about this. So let's try this out today for our dinner. So, but first let's unbox this. Box is kind of big. I don't know how to open this easily. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Oh, it's actually easy. You just need a little strength in there. And ta-da! Here it is. I think it's securely packed, so... So here it is. It's actually pretty light. I liked it. I like the color too. Is it not pleasing to the eyes? At least for me. And let's see what's inside here. The reason why I like this is because it's non-toxic and it's a non-stick pen. And you could fry in it, you could saute. You could basically do anything with it. It should come with a steamer basket. Oh, and here it is. Look. Kind of excited to use this. So it has a steamer or it can be used as a steamer and this basket, steaming basket, which I really like. And, and the interior is kind of nice. As long as it's non-stick pen, it's good for me. And it's light. So what does it come with? It has some directions. So it says here, before using it for the first time, give it a wash with soap and water by hand is best. But these washers are safe too. After that, you're good to go. Okay, let's wash it. So it comes with this scrub. Uh, that we'll probably use kind of soft it's 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 a natural sponge and it's safe for the for the non-stick coating Just like that or I, I, I kind of like it now and the handle is supposed to stay cool even though this one will get hot the only thing about this is you can't use it at the oven and I kind of need that but it's okay because I have another pan that I can use in the oven and it's just that it's not you can't use it with this which is fine you know i i don't think i would use it in the dishwasher i think it's easy to clean enough so i'll just do by hand to wash it and the lid is kind of it's kind of light as well i'm really imagining what to cook with it i think i could do anything for breakfast lunch and dinner it's got, this is so light the steamer basket is good for dumplings and they have here a welcome note and they said our mission is to create products and experiences that celebrate cultures, honor traditions, and cultivate connections. Oh, thank you. Oh, I think that's it, right? And is it, is it a spatula? It says here, please only hand wash your spatula. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, here, yeah, of course. And you could rest your spatula here, look. Oh my, this is it. I like it. I also like the color. It's uh, it's called spice color, but there are other colors to choose from. I'm gonna start to use this now. I'm gonna cook something for dinner. It's a uh, uh, Filipino beef steak. Let's use it now. Again, we have to wash it, right? 
So I have some slices of sirloin here. They are thinly sliced. So this is about a pound. And we will just marinate this with soy sauce and lemon juice and pepper. And for our other ingredients, we will use sliced onions and one that is sliced into rings and about 2 to 3 cloves of chopped garlic. And now, after an hour, let's just drain the marinade. We will use the marinade later. Heat up cooking oil over medium heat pan. We will fry up our onion rings and the meat as well. Pan fry the onion rings until both sides turn lightly brown and the texture becomes soft. Once cooked, just transfer onto a plate. And then add the beef. Cook for about 2-3 to three minutes on each side. And then just remove the beef from the pan, set it aside, as well as the sauce, the beef sauce, just transfer it into the bowl and we will use this again later on. Let's add a little more cooking oil and add the garlic and saute it with the remaining sliced raw onions and just stir and cook until the onions turn soft. Let's pour our remaining marinade and we will also add some water, about a cup and a half. And let's just bring this to a boil. And let's add back our meat. We want to simmer this for about 30 to 40 minutes or until the meat is tender.
go ahead and cover the pan and after a couple of minutes you might just want to check on it if it needs more water or you may also season it with more salt and pepper or red pepper if you want it a little spicy it really depends on your desired taste and once done just top it off with the cooked onion rings and also you might want to garnish it with some chopped green onions And here is the Filipino style beef steak. So quick and easy. And it's tender and it's really good and best served with a warm cup of rice. And this is using the always pan. I love it. The following morning, I decided to cook some eggs using the always pan and as you can see i'm cooking it without oil in it and i just top it with some seasoning i just added a little splash of water here and we will cover this with a lid that steam created by the water would help cook the top side of the eggs look at that this is just how i wanted my eggs cooked and it's definitely non-stick it's so easy to remove them from the pan next i want to steam my pork buns that i got from the store so let's boil some water add the steaming basket as well as the pork buns and cover this with a lid for about three to five minutes and here it is i really liked it it's so good it's hot and uh, soft i used this last night for dinner and i use it again for brunch I'm glad I was able to fry the eggs without cooking oil and I even used the steamy basket for my pork buns. I like the idea of a multi-purpose pan which is this one. I also like the design and the color and it was easy to clean so if you ask me if it's worth it I think it is. I'm glad I own one now. Uh, I just got lucky because I got a deal with it when I bought it so hope you like this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe